Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of the Backwater Entrepreneur Podcast and Show, the show that guides your business from the backwaters through the global marketplace. My name is Jack, and I'm your host, and this is episode number 11. Now, for those watching on YouTube, you can see that I'm not in my usual kind of setup, studio setup, and I don't have my usual equipment. This is because I'm in my lovely home, and I just brought the bare minimum of the equipment so I'm recording the video on my iPhone with a small tripod and I'm recording this audio with a Shure microphone and this wonderful H4N Pro Zoom uh, digital recorder which is wonderful because this is the only thing I need for me to uh, kind of take in order to be able to record a new session. Now, why I'm doing this, why I'm not in my studio with a, with a microphone, which I was very proud uh, to, to get for this podcast, the Rode Procaster. So because uh, I'm, I'm kind of doing this last minute, I'm kind of doing this uh, on, on the go. And, and why I'm doing that? Because I didn't have any idea on what to record. And in this episode, this is exactly what I want to talk to you about. So in the last episode, I, I talked about producing content and being consistent and being able, the, the consistency part is one of the most important things about creating content. And sometimes in order to be consistent, you have to be you have to be able to produce content and in order to be you know able to produce content you have to have the inspiration at the time and the kind of the environment to do so so it's not about just inspiration because inspiration can hit you in my case um you know on all sorts of you know very bad timings um like you know you spend eight hours in the office with the perfect conditions to do the podcast the video the the the, the blogs the you know you have your piece but you have no idea on on just the right tone or just all of the right points that you want to hit within one episode or one text or whatever it is, the content that you're producing. And then you go home and you, you know, start, you know, leave everything in the office and, and, and just uh, try to relax a bit. And then it hits you. And, you know, now that you don't have the environment, now you have the ideas on what to do and what to write. And I would do so much things right now, but I'm not right now able to do so. So how do we get the inspiration to produce the, that constant content or continuous content that is needed if you want to, if you want to do it in a series? Well, one thing is that you need to allow yourself, uh, you know, to, to be inspired by all of the things that are around you. And when you are, you need to write that down. So uh, uh, one of the tips for, for uh, preserving inspiration uh, be, is the, to write everything down as soon as you think about it. Take a note, take a notebook with you at, at all times, or, you know, record yourself in in a in a phone with a with a simple voice recorder and you know you know those those scenes from the movie note to myself uh you know think about a new, you know, note to myself a new topic for the podcast you know how to get inspiration and then you know just record your thoughts which you can later transcribe because what happens, what happens is that when you get that inspiration and you're not ready to, to do the actual recording or writing or whatever it is that you're doing to produce content, it is something like uh, you get the inspiration, you get all of these fantastic points, but by the time you get to the point that you can write or record or whatever you're doing, those points fade away. And you're thinking about a million other things and you just don't have uh, 
uh, the, the, the line of thought that you had at that great inspiration time. So take a notebook, write everything down that you, rem, you know, think of that you may think of, you know, using in, in creating that content. Another point is to always be prepared and to not, as I said, it's not important to have that fabulous equipment, that fabulous equipment. And for all of us tech junkies, that is kind of blasphemy to say. So we, we love our equipment. We love our techy stuff. But just to have something on the go. So my first ever podcasts or or episodes were recorded on an iPhone with just a, a headset without the microphone and the digital recorder and and any kind of other setup which was needed so don't be afraid to use what you have in order to record or or produce content now another point in getting inspiration is the point of actually getting inspiration to have some to you know to know what you're talking about and in order to do that um i already talked about this in a previous podcast uh which was not in the backward entrepreneur series it is the point that you cannot be excluded from everything else you uh, people sometimes close off and spend time and focus only on their business on their content on their family on on you know very internal stuff and if you're not exposed to world events to news to social networks, to podcasts, to other blogs, if you're not reading, uh, constantly expanding the, you know, your interest in what interests you and what you want to talk about, talk about because usually people create content around the things that they are in, you know, that they're interesting to them. So basically, I'm also reading and listening and watching a lot about entrepreneurship and business and motivation. And that's what, you know, what's interesting to me. And that's something which I have, you know, when I watch something, I have a personal take on or I have a personal thought or I have a personal experience and then I can talk about it. So like like getting inspiration from my point of view. Now, in this sense, if you exclude yourself and you don't read for a while and you don't listen to other podcasts and you don't watch other things on YouTube or, you know, you are only focusing on internal projects and you have no, so say, client communication, so you don't have any kind of business experience, you didn't invest in marketing. So if you're talking about marketing, nothing specifically interesting happened to you so that you can share your experience and tips and tricks around that. So that is a problem in producing content because you are kind of in a black hole and you have no idea what to talk about unless you expand and you open up to that other content, which you can, it's not about regurgitating content. It's not about taking something, spinning it and, and telling it to the world as your own topic. It's about having your own idea by listening to all these other experiences. Now I'm not talking in anything, in any other episode. I'm never claiming that nobody else talks about this that nobody else uh, is actually saying the exact same five points that I'm saying to you. This is not the case. But this is something that um, in my experience and in my shows, you will know that every point that I'm talking to you comes from personal experience. It is something that I took from somebody, tried, and I'm telling it like it affected me or, you know, I'm telling you the result of my logical thinking and, and what was the, the, the point that I came to know when I tried something to do or 
to develop or, or to, to process. So basically, you need to open up yourself to this podcast, to other podcasts, to blogs, to, to texts, to social networks, to everything around you. And when you get all of this inflow information, then you will be able and, uh, you know, to, to very quickly process uh, everything that is happening to you in a week or in a couple of days. And you'll have a million ideas that can come to you and that can help you create a content. So three points that I want to take that I want you to take from this episode is one, don't, you know, fall to the trap of uh, only being able to uh, record stuff or produce content, any kind of content. So blogs, even blogs, you know, you don't need your office computer to write a blog. You can write a part of the blog if necessary on your phone or at least the points that you need to, in order to later on, um, you know, formulate the, the end text. So uh, one, don't fall out, fall a trap uh, on on having only the best equipment because right now I'm using uh, everything that I can carry on in my bag uh, to produce this content and I'm producing both video and audio. Uh, also, catch notes on everything that you think about no matter where you are. So grab a notebook, grab some something that can fit into your pocket or a, or a small bag and write the idea down or use a voice recorder on your phone and just say no to myself, you know, tomorrow I'm going to buy a notebook <laughs> or something or I'm going to listen to Jack um, and, uh, and check out the new podcast and so on. And three, open yourself up to all of this inflow of information around you. So in business, in, in your friends, in your colleagues, uh, in clients, in your social networks, in reading on other stuff that interests you or listening or watching. And when you open yourself up to that, then you will be able to have both everything that you need in order to create constant content in a consistent manner. So you won't lose an episode just because, oh, this week has been hectic. And I'm, you know, hell, if um, even when I had time, I didn't have the right and proper uh, kind of motivation or all the points that I needed in order to write or, or record that content that I wanted to put out and needed to put out on Monday. So um, I hope you take my points and I'll talk to you next week in a new episode of the Backwater Entrepreneur. Check out our website on backwaterentrepreneur.com. And of course, again, like, share or comment on any episode. Ask me a question and I'll try to um, you know, create an episode around the topics that is interesting also to you. Talk to you soon. Thank you.